than 125,000 refugees came to the U.S. following the Vietnam War. Whether by air or sea, the difficult and dangerous journey signaled a new beginning. April 1975, Saigon was falling to communism. Hundreds of thousands of military men and civilians have packed up and fled. In a the war in Vietnam was over, and for thousands, this frantic effort to flee is the last memory of their homeland. And what happened next is captured in these photographs housed here at Camp Pendleton, California. Oh, that's a game. Former gunnery sergeant Louis Beatty remembers it well. He was there. The general told us you got 24 hours to set up a camp. More like a tent city for some 50,000 Vietnamese refugees brought here under a resettlement act signed by President Ford. Sergeant Beatty was 35 years old at the time and had already served two tours in Vietnam. He says he wasn't thrilled about America's newest immigrants. We were very apprehensive. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. uh, it was as new to us as it was to the Vietnamese when they came. Most fled communism with little more than the clothes on their backs, including me and my family. I cannot speak English. I, know, I don't know where I'm going. But my mom didn't have a choice. Just 22 years old, she had married my father, an American serviceman. He knew any Vietnamese associated with the U.S. military would have to leave or face possible death under the communist regime. He said, you go with me. Uh. Just a baby, considered a child of the enemy by the communists. So I had to go. Yeah. But I have to leave my family, and I don't want to leave my family. Yeah. Hard to imagine the pain my mom felt saying goodbye to her parents, not knowing if we'd ever see them again. It's hard. But we're here today. We're here. Yeah. Because mm. people like you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Like many refugees, we arrived at night. Sergeant Beatty says it was partially to avoid protesters. It was a cold beginning, literally. They were freezing when they arrived. Uh, it's funny that you say that because every time I talk to my mom about the camp, the first thing she says is, So cold. It's so um, cold. The memory is, is so cold. These photos paint a picture of our new lives and what would become our new home. This is our history right here. Yes. Now, 35 years, I returned to where the camps once stood. My whole life, I've been wondering what it looks like here, the place where we first came to America. Yeah. What was the most difficult part for you um, as you were helping those like my family come through this camp? Watching the kids. Uh, Adults make mistakes and kids pay for it. Mm. It still brings you to tears today, doesn't it? Yeah. I could see my kids in this situation, and it was hard, very hard. So. But don't you feel good that you are a part of the process that helped us? Oh, I'll cherish it all my life. And so will I, because through their memories, I'm given a window into the past that could easily be lost in an overgrown field. Looking at it today, is it still sad? Sad in the past, but uh, we have new life. Mm -hmm. We do have a new life, don't we? Yeah. We're very lucky. Cargo planes out of Vietnam. Even though my father was an American, my mom and I still had to be processed through three different refugee camps, including Pendleton. But like thousands of Vietnamese, we are Vietnamese Americans. Very much so, very much so. To be there on that ground with your mom, what was your overwhelming emotion? I think it was just realizing that this is where it all happened. I hear so much about it uh, those first few days and how difficult it was. Because you were just an infant. I was, just, I was not even a year old. Mm. So all of it was just stories, but to see it with my own eyes and to try to envision what it was like, especially thank you to Sergeant Beatty who was there and could help, help me understand what that time was like. Because for my mom, it was truly emotional and many times she got choked up and it was, it was hard to really be back in that moment, but mm. he brought me there. Thank you very much for sharing your story this morning. Thank you.